Item number SCP-5363-D Object Class Thamu Optic Decommissioned Special Containment Procedures Archived SCP-5363 is contained in a Level 9 Secure Vault in Site 1. Access to it is strictly forbidden except by non-unanimous approval of the old 5 Council. Description Archived SCP-5363 is a sheaf of papers stapled together in the top left corner. The top sheet is a cover sheet that reads Special Termination Procedures. Behind the cover sheet, SCP-5363 is organized in sets of two pages. The first page in each set displays the name of a high-ranking living member of Foundation personnel. The page behind it displays details on how the aforementioned individual will be killed. Whenever the cover sheet is lifted, SCP-5363 will generate a new section behind the existing ones. Currently, SCP-5363 has 22 pages, excluding the cover sheet. Whenever one of the pages that details an individual's death is read, the relevant individual will die within the next 24 hours. In the exact manner described, while only three pages have ever been read, it is highly accepted that the reading of the page anomalously results in a written event occurring. Discovery SCP-5363 was discovered by MTF Alpha-1 Red Right Hand upon a raid of a facility suspected to be connected to a anomalous espionage. One of the task force's members read from the page detailing the death of Agent Jack Dawkins during the recovery process before handing over to his captain. The next day, Agent Dawkins was killed in the manner detailed by SCP-5363. A brief interview and cross-reference determined SCP-5363's properties and it was subsequently placed in containment. The relevant agents were amnesticized and knowledge of SCP-5363 was restricted to exclusive Level 5 personnel and the O5 Council. Addendum 5363-1 One week after the initial containment of SCP-5363, an email was sent to all Level 5 personnel from a now defunct address containing a copy of SCP-5363's documentation. While knowledge of this document was kept from lower-ranking personnel from sudden panic, high tensions immediately rose between Level 5 personnel and the O5 Council. There were several demands that SCP-5363 be destroyed, culminating in an official proposal from the decommissioning department signed by several personnel. The proposal was revealed by the council, which engaged in a vote to override it. All five vote overriding decommissioning department proposal. 5363. Yay! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, nay, 7, abstain, none. Status. Motion passed. SCP-5363 was not destroyed, however. Further security measures were engaged to prevent its unauthorized usage. Six level 5 personnel immediately resigned following this announcement. Addendum 5363-2 On December 5th, 2010, a raid was conducted by the Chaos Insurgency on Site 3 in an attempt to gather Vital Foundation Intelligence. The incursion was successfully repelled, with multiple insurgency agents being captured. Upon interrogation of the detained subjects, it was discovered that they were primarily seeking the location of SCP-5363. As the raid captain had been killed during the incident, it was unknown how the insurgency learned of SCP-5363's existence. An internal investigation was immediately carried out to find a possible leak. None was found. Addendum 5363-3 Since the previous incident, 
Five attacks have been carried out by hostile groups of interest against intelligence sites. With the confirmed goal of locating SCP-5363, no captured individuals have divulged the source of their intelligence. The second proposal was sent from the decommissioning department signed by a significantly higher number of personnel. It once again proposed the destruction of SCP-5363, this time with the additional ground that its existence was resulting in the collateral damage and deaths as enemy forces attempted to locate the object. With a 7-6 vote by the old 5 Council, SCP-5363 was approved for decommissioning. Addendum 5363-4 All five access granted. The following message was sent from 052 to the rest of the 05 Council prior to the planned transfer of SCP-5363 to the decommissioning department. My fellow Council members, I have always been in support of delegation and the belief that we can both control and trust those in our command to make the right decision. However, in light of recent events, particularly regarding SCP-5363, it has unfortunately become clear that we have been far too naive. Several personnel have turned against us, and while I understand their reasoning, we cannot simply act as though tensions aren't rising. As such, I am proposing a council-only vote regarding our next steps with SCP-5363. To be completely clear, this proposal is only a matter of security and safety. I see no reason to ever utilizing its properties. O5 vote regarding O52's proposal. Yay! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, nay, 7, abstain, none. Status, motion passed. O5 Council internal notification. Our previous administrations have elected for strict containment of SCP-5363. The current representing O5 Council has made the decision to update the protocols regarding it. The following changes have been approved. Object Class, Farmu, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-5363 is contained in Site 1. Any given page of SCP-5363 is permitted to be viewed upon a majority vote by the O5 Council. Additional notes. At present, SCP-5363 has 194 pages. Addendum. Security footage within SCP-5363's containment unit revealed an unknown O5 Council member accessing SCP-5363 without authorization and reading all of its contents concerning the Council Emergency Protocols are underway. The O5 Council will be terminated in 81,700 and counting seconds.